My name is Daphne Self and I'm from Models One and I've written a book called The Way We War. And that's my profile that way, and that's my profile that way. And that's what I do at auditions. <laughs> and I usually smile and I'm serious. I love dressing up. I've always loved dressing up. And I think that's really... Oh, and of course, fashion, I mean, keeps changing, so it's always something new. Um, and also, being a model takes you anywhere you can think of, you know. It's really lucky. Well, they're people just like anybody else. <laughs> and they're, if they're good photographers or artists, they're good psychologists as well. And they know how to treat you, and you know how to respond to them. And I enjoyed working for all oh, Rankin and um, I can't think of all the other Testino and all sorts of people. And Barbara Hepworth was interesting because she's an artist, mm. and I used to work for her down in St Ives in her studio. But you, when you're working for an artist, you don't actually talk to them. They are concentrating on drawing you, because I know that, because I draw myself. And you don't want to chatter away to the model all the time. You, you end up just sort of posing, and she gets on with the job. And then you've done that, and that's it, go home. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But uh, photographers, you, have a, you usually have a good rapport with them. I, I, get to, I get on with most people. I mean, you make it your business to get on, for a start. Oh, she's fantastic. I love working for her. She's so cons considerate and treated us all so beautifully. I mean, I've written, I think, in the book about the fact that we did this shoot on the Pont Alexandre in Paris for Absolutely Fabulous. And the photographer was called Dave. And at the end, we went to a restaurant called Dave to have our last, uh, su last supper at the end of the week. And the plates all had Dave on them. And she upped and asked the waiter and got him a plate to take home with Dave on it. And I thought that was really lovely. And so we had a bit of fun that day. The dresses were made of rubber, which was impossible to get into and get out of. <laughs> gas mask once, which I thought didn't really do me much good. I'm afraid I haven't got a picture of that here. I never ever imagined I'd be where I am now. A, having written a book, B, being a, a topish model, and having such a great time. I mean, I wish my mother and my husband could see. That's the only sad thing, really, that they didn't see. But I hope my grandchildren will in, have a laugh over it. I eat the right foods, really. I, I keep fit by drinking water, eating what they call healthily. I've always, uh, very rarely, eat packet food or um, bought food. I used to grow all my own vegetables when I had a big house and everything. But um, And I do exercise because I've got a discipline of horses and ballet and yoga and things like that. I always exercise a little every morning, depending on how the day is going to turn out, I will do some sort of exercise to unstiffen. But I'm lucky that I'm quite supple and always have been, so it's no problem. I walk a lot, I garden, I do all my own housework, um, take an interest in everything. <laughs> um, yes, I think to be curious and inquisitive is good. It keeps your mind going. I wouldn't call myself a supermodel, but I, I'm certainly doing quite well. And it's nice to see older people coming up as well. I think possibly I might have been one of the first in the 98 uh, era, but there are so many more now, and that's good, because there's lots of, uh, lots of people um, over 60 who want clothes and don't want sort of, you know, high street stuff, and they want to wear nice things mm. and, and not be looked down on because they're old. Um, oh yes, as long as I can. Yes, rather. Why not? I don't do retiring. Not yet anyway. <laughs> <laughs>